So now it's going to show me, OK, you chose Scrum, but you don't have any sprints. Not a problem. And it tells me, start sprints in the backlog. So I could click on here to go to my backlog, or I could click on backlog. Now the trick to JIRA is knowing what to ignore and what to pay attention to. So you will do fine if you learn to pay attention to a certain like 5% of JIRA that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to click on backlog <clears throat> and I'm going to add stories. So stories in Agile, as you know, in Scrum, it's, uh, it's just a description of a requirement. Uh, so I'm not even going to bother with a clean format, like as a user I want to do a thing so, so that I can get this business result. For the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to call this uh, story one, <clears throat> excuse me. And right down here again, you'll notice that it's being helpful and it's giving me a place to put in my stories. So I had copied the word story and now I'm going to type in story two, story three. <clears throat> story four, story five, and one more, story six. <clears throat> okay. So now I have a backlog, and I'm looking at the backlog, say, with my team, and I realize, oh, well, actually, story five is the most important. So there's backlog refinement that's going to happen before you get to sprint planning. So how you refine and prioritize is you just drag. So I'm going to drag story five to the top and then say story three to the top. 